I got a little carried away with today's makeup. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori. If you don't know, now you know. Welcome. So today's video is going to be kind of like a best in beauty of 2016. Just like my favorites as a whole for the whole year. I don't typically do monthly favorite videos just because I feel like I can only upload, you know, once a week, so four times a month and it's just, I'd rather do tutorials and stuff like that and reviews just to, you know, I just feel like monthly favorites, I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. Like, you know what my favorite products are, you know, month by month because I use them all the time in tutorials, so, I don't know, it's weird. So I figured today I would do my whole favorites for the year of 2016. Welcome to 2017. Hopefully we start this year off a little bit better than we ended last year. So the way I want to do this video, then rather than like highlighting individual products, I chose brands that I really feel like stood out in my mind for the year 2016 and who I think will definitely continue to slay for 2017. And then within those brands, I chose like my favorite products. So let's get started. The first brand I would like to talk about is uh, Kat Von D Beauty. Now, Kat Von D has been slaying the scene for a couple of years now, and people are really, really, really getting attached to her and her brand, and I'm just really starting to fall in love with everything that she puts out. My newest purchase is the metal matte palette that she put out. I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing, obviously, all the blue shades and a couple of the purple shades, so I have, like, Velour and Nebula and ribbon and tinsel and I also have a little bit of velvet on um so if you want to see like a tutorial of this look let me know I just you know just decided to pull out this palette and have a little fun today um but yeah just a little experimentation so if you want to see this look like and how I did it let me know down below <laughs> Obviously, um, her shade and light palettes, the contour one and the eyeshadow one, are super, super popular. I don't own them just because I tend to, A, I don't really like using contour kits because I think it's just a waste of money. I have them for my professional kit, but for myself, I just use a bronzer. And I will show you, obviously, that bronzer will be later on in this video. But um, And I haven't gotten the metal matte palette. And I haven't gotten the shade of light eyeshadow palette yet. I really do want it, but you know. She's just coming out with so many other like cool things that I'm like, ooh, shiny new gimme right now. Obviously, the first product that stood out in my mind when she came out with them were the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. Um, these are so good. And my two favorite colors are Bow and Arrow, which is like a kind of soft beige nude and Lolita, which I think is everybody's favorite of her brand. Like, it's just always sold out. Um, and I just was looking on her Instagram, looking at all the new colors that are coming out, and I'm so excited, and I want them all. As if I don't have enough liquid lipsticks. I have a million. Another thing that everybody really loves is her eyeliner, her liquid liner. This is actually the Ink It Liner in Trooper, which is not the popular one. The other one that people really like, um, oh, what is, why is the name escaping me? The Tattoo Liner is actually the more popular one, and I haven't even really tried that one. I actually ordered this one thinking it was the Tattoo Liner, but it wasn't by accident, and I actually really love it, so, you know, whatever. Um... I used to use the Stila Liquid Liner and I like this one like a million times better. I don't know why. I really don't know why I like this one better. But it's just so good. I think one of the brands that really surprised everyone, especially towards the end of 2016, was Tarte. Now, I work at Ulta. I work at the Benefit Brow Bar, so I'm near the Tarte Gondola all the time. So I'm always looking at their stuff. And believe me, over the last year, I've just seen them blossom. I don't know what it is. They've just become just one of everybody's... Ooh, my lash. <laughs> They've just become one of everybody's favorite brands and everybody wants to work with them and I want to work with them. Like, I, like, yeah. 
I would work with them, absolutely. This is the TARDIS Pro, and this is like their newest palette that just came out, like their big palettes. They have lots of like little ones that are coming out, um, like the Man Eater and all that jazz. Um, but this TARDIS Pro palette, I sold so many of these over the holidays. I was just like, I'm not even gonna dick you around. Like this is what you need to get for that person because it's just beautiful. And I love matte eyeshadows, and that's primarily. Let me just turn it this way so I don't blend you. I'm primarily like this is what I use most of the time, and I just love that it's all matte, and then it just has the four duochrome shades here that you can really just you know dress up your look. It's just, I mean, they're just amazing, and obviously everyone is obsessed with their Shape Tape Concealer. This is my third one, and I'm scraping this, because I just, I hate to let it go. And I have more, but I just want to make sure I use every single drop of this stuff. This is amazing concealer. Um, this is in the shade Light. I've used to use, I use Light Medium in the summer, and then I use Light now, like fall, winter. But this stuff is just amazing, and I... I do use other concealers underneath um, to color correct and all that jazz. This is just great over foundation to highlight and to really kick up your under eye a little bit more. It's just so full coverage and amazing. Whoa! I love it. Uh, one of the like least popular items that I don't see people talking about all too much but is my favorite foundation at the moment is their Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation from their Double Duty line. I have very very dry skin and I really have a hard time finding a foundation that will give me coverage. I don't need tons, but it will give me enough and then will also not make me look like a scaly mess. This stuff is amazing. It doesn't smell, like that's the one thing that puts people off is how it smells, but I tell people, to, like once it's on your face, you don't smell it, get over it, come on. Um, I use the color Light Neutral. Um, basically, when you have a more hydrating foundation, they tend to sacrifice coverage a little bit, and this one just does its job. It's amazing, and it feels like nothing is on your face. I love it, and I've been using it every day. So good, so good. Next, I want to talk about this powder. It's from RCMA, a not typically talked about brand. It's more of like a, um, makeup artist secret brand that everyone loves. And this is their no color powder. I have to say, I actually had this in my kit for years. And I used it and I liked it on other people, but I never never really thought about using it on myself for some reason. I bought this like before the hype set in. Then I saw Kathleen Lights and Jacqueline Hill and Manny and Maria and they were all talking about it. I've had that in my kit for I can't tell you how long. Maybe I should pull it out and use it. And I, I really just didn't think about it. Mainly because the packaging is kind of meh. I mean, you have to um, like open it and pour it in a cap. I've taken to just taking my sponge and like doing this for my own use. Like obviously I don't do that with clients, but um, it just makes it easier. I don't know. Um, but honestly, one of the best batteries I've ever used. So lightweight, so non-drying, just, you know, just does what it's supposed to do. We just need, we just need products that do what they say they're going to do. Right? I guess I should talk about the sponge. I really love the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Um, I did start out using Beauty Blenders, and I, I, I like them too, but I like this one. It's a little softer, a little more, like you know, easy to use I feel like and the size is really nice and I like how it has the the flat side and the pointed side. And they're cheap. They're six dollars. You can get two for ten at Ulta. They're so good. Next I want to talk about Benefit Cosmetics. Now Benefit has been a staple brand of mine since I've started YouTube and I had one channel maybe about seven or eight years ago and then I stopped doing that channel and then I decided to go back and try YouTube again and created this channel. I've been using a race paste for eight years. Like this is just one of my... Yes, I've been using a race paste forever. It's just my favorite color correcting under eye concealer. It comes in three shades so I always like to sit someone down and really try it on them and you know say I know it kind of looks scary or 
um, you don't like the fact that it comes in a pot, like, but just believe me, get over the whole stigma about using things that are like this, like, <laughs> and if you want a product that doesn't settle into your lines, you're going to have to use a little bit of a thicker product to really, because that'll float easier on the skin. A thinner product will just fall into the cracks. Like, that's the common sense, I feel like. So, I love this concealer, and I don't live without it. I also really like lemonade, and I just found out that this is getting discontinued, and I am emotional about it. I use this underneath my eye before I put a raised face. I use these together. They just give you the perfect color correcting and brightening effect. Then I do my foundation over it, and then I go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, and it's just like, it seems like a lot of products but it gets the look that I want, so I don't really care. Obviously, Hula Bronzer has been around forever as well, and I really love this, you know. This is like my eighth one. Um, lately, I've been using another like matte bronzer just to bronze. It's a little lighter, and then I go in with Hoogla and do it as my contour, and I just really love it because it's matte and neutral, but it's not too gray in undertone, so you don't look dead. It's just, I mean, Hello? Hello? Amazing. And obviously, their big release of 2016 was their new brow products. I, I was an Anastasia user and I worked at the Benefit Brow Bar. I worked there. And I was using their products on other people, but I was coming home and I was using Brow Wiz and Dip Brow. Guess what? I threw out my Anastasia products because these are so good. They're so good. They're so good. They're more water resistant and waterproof. There's there's just, you know, things that help create fullness and growth for your brows. If you have thin, sparse brows, go take a look at Bravo, their conditioning primer. This stuff has soy and keratin in it. So when you put it on at night, it really goes to work and helps promote new growth and fullness. Not tons of growth, obviously, but it does help. Like, come on, it's amazing. Gimme Brow, I've been using forever. This was, you know, like the only brow product that I've used from Benefit since I worked for the company, oh, before I worked for the company. Um, I used their dark shade before they repackaged everything, and now I use their medium shade, bomb.com. I use their Precisely My Brow Pencil, which is kind of like Deep Brow Wiz. Micro Fine Tip has a spoolie on the other end. Just so easy to use. What more, like, come on, what more can you want? Their brow gel, their clear brow gel, the Ready Set Brow, the best brow gel I have ever used in my entire life. I want to set my life with it. I also use Cabral. It's like their dip brow product. It's a cream gel. It's 24 hour waterproof wear. You can apply it for a natural look or you can build it up to be a little bit more sculpted, a little bit more dramatic if you want. There's so much versatility in that product. Like, I just want to shout at the top of the Empire State Building that I love Benefit Cosmetics. Hello. And they're going to continue to slay. Forever. A lot of people, um, pay more attention to their packaging and the way their products look and you know you really have to appreciate benefit for the fact that a lot of their products are so multifunctional um and that I really applaud because as a freelance makeup artist like that's what I crave is just things that I can use for different things and different reasons and oh it just makes me so happy because that means I can put less in my kit and carry less around yeah that's what I want. <laughs> I also want to talk about Morphe. Obviously this brand is bump.com. This is their 350 palette. It's just, I mean, I've used the heck out of this palette. Hold on, let me open it so you can see. It's just beautiful. It's all those shades that I freaking love. I have blue eyes, so I love to put like oranges and bronzy colors, gold on my eyes to really make my eye color pop. And this palette is all that you need. And for $22, the price is right, people. The price is right. So good. I also really love their brushes. I use a ton of them. And my favorite is the Rose Gold... The Rose... And my favorite is the Rose Gold Collection. So beautiful. 
they're lightweight, but they still feel sturdy enough that like, you know, they're not gonna break. I love that. But they also don't feel like you're holding a two pound eyeshadow brush. That makes things very tiring. Come on. And I'm so excited to try their new liquid lips. They launch later on this month and I cannot wait to buy all of them. To try them. Another brand that I feel like is just kind of slaying the world is Anastasia Beverly Hills, obviously. I used to love their brow products. Now I use Benefit, but I still love Anastasia. Her eyeshadow palettes. I mean, this is the modern renaissance, obviously. This just created so much hype and so much havoc in the industry. Everyone loves it. I use the heck out of this palette as well. I also really love their liquid lipsticks. A lot of people have a love-hate relationship with these because they find them they're a little drying. I always prep my lips before I put on a liquid lip, so I'm exfoliating and putting lip balm on, and then I put this on. And I just dropped it. They're great. I love them. My favorite color is Dusty Rose, which is now on the floor, but I'll get that later. Um, I did try her foundation sticks, and I loved it at first, and now I'm starting to not like it. I think it's becoming a little too drying for me. Um, but yeah, she's definitely slaying the scene with products for the, um, the makeup artist and the makeup novice. So, you go girl. And her daughter. You go. Another brand I want to talk about is Jeffree Star. I feel like his cosmetic line is going to continue to slay. This is his Skin Frost and Peach Goddess. I have hip pan and chipped this to death. This is my favorite highlighter. I'm wearing this today along with another highlighter that I will be talking about soon. But, um, you know, th there's been some controversy and obviously he, um, maybe has said some things. I'm not quite sure. I don't really pay attention to the controversy too much because I don't hear it myself. So, you know, I just, uh, he makes really, really bomb highlighters and really bomb liquid lipstick so that's all I care about. I don't know. I think he's gonna continue to slay. I think I think people who uh work in the industry and do like what I do, like you really just know what people want and know what people like and yeah, I think he knows. Next brand I wanna mention is kind of a smaller brand but they're growing very 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 quickly and that's ColourPop. I am obs <laughs> obsessed with ColourPop. I probably have almost all of their ultra matte lips and a lot of their ultra satin lips and a lot of their eyeshadows. My favorite ultra satin lip is the one I'm wearing today. This is called Dopey. It's just really beautiful. Really really beautiful. And one of my favorite eyeshadows is called Millionaire. It's like a really beautiful dark bronze. I got this for Christmas and I had no idea about it. Never seen it before. And it's really beautiful. I love it. I'm just really excited for ColourPop and they they do a lot of collaborations, which I think really gets, that's a smart thing to do. It's like, I, I really feel like collaborating with people, with beauty influencers and makeup artists, that's just like a smart way of getting your brand out there and getting known and I just really enjoy it and I would work with ColourPop too, just saying. Sending, sending, sending it out there. Also some of my favorite colors um, are collaborations like Lumiere 2 by Kathleen Lights. I love that ultra matte lip, like it's so beautiful. It's very similar to Dopey. It dries a little bit more purple and a little bit darker. Um, but it's so, so pretty. At least it dries really purple on me, which tends to happen with everything that I wear, so. Huh. The last brand that I want to talk about is Becca Cosmetics. And obviously, I have to talk about Champagne Pop. I'm very, very, very close to running out of this bad boy. I have a runner's up, don't worry. So, I think what makes Champagne Pop so wonderful is... Not only does it look beautiful on all skin tones, but it just, even in the name, it just makes you happy. And I think Jaclyn Hill makes people happy because she's happy and she's in this beautiful place in her life and I'm so happy for her and I will hopefully someday be in that same place. Um, but I just, I just think Becca 
is great. Their highlighters are beautiful. Their um, aqua finish foundation, is that what it's called? Their luminous foundation is beautiful. Um, they know they know what they do best and that's just great. Um, I also really love the liquid version, the Shimmering Skin Perfecto Liquid version of Champagne Pop. I love to mix this in with my foundation. It's just beautiful. It gives you like an all over glow. It's great for summertime and it's like most people want to be matte during the winter and like dewy in the summer and glowy. Um, so, you know, I can certainly, I just am, I want to look like Gracie all the time. So, you know. But I'm just really excited for what every single one of these brands and more brands um, really have to offer in 2017. I think it's going to be a big year and I think the years to come are going to be huge for the makeup industry and I'm excited to see what's going on. I'm looking forward to trying new brands and looking forward to seeing what some other popular brands have to come up with as well. I'm really excited for 2017. I feel hopeful and I feel feel hopeful for this world not to get political I don't want to get political because that's not what I don't <laughs> look at me um but I just feel like you know there's gonna be challenges and we, we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it we have no other options really so we just gotta keep trudging along so guys that's the end of my 2016 uh beauty best of 2000 what what so anyway that was the end oh my god so anyway that's the end of my best of 2016 in beauty i hope you guys enjoyed um please tell me your favorites like i want to know talk to me yes let's have discussions let's be friends please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it because that's how i know you guys are out there don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can see videos from me every week, every Saturday. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. I also have social media. You should follow that too. Link, links are down there. Okay. Okay, bye.